Good evening. Good evening. How are you, uh, Darwin? I'm fine, Chair. And you? Fine. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Today is Tuesday. Everything is nice. Okay. So yes. let's begin, my friend. It's nice to see you. Welcome on board. Welcome to the class. Okay. Let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is February the 22nd. And uh, tonight's topic is brand awareness, vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to be describing what brand awareness means. Okay, tonight is class 21, means that after tonight, we will have only four classes more after tonight. And we should be starting uh, to think about uh, the Encuesta de Satisfacción, right? That's gonna be on Monday next week, okay? So let's be. Welcome to your English class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Angelita. How are you? Hey, I am fine. I am tired. <laughs> I imagine so. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. This is the general objective, and this is the, the specific objective, the objective of the unit. Okay. And this is tonight's objective to acquire new vocabulary about brand awareness. In the agenda, we're going to be talking about water, bottled water dialogue, and then we'll have a dialogue in the task preparation and the uh, brand awareness, and then a table. All right, let's see, this is for tonight. But before we start, let's check who's here and who isn't here. Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Excellent. Nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Ana Selmi Chévez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Angela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. <coughs> Excellent. Nice. Gloria. Carmen López. Present, teacher. Gloria. Present, teacher. Okay. Welcome, Gloria. Oh, yes. Jose Carlos, welcome on board. Beatriz Aeta. Yes. No. Guevara. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Present teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't hear you. Okay. So Nelson Present teacher. Okay. Welcome on board, my friend. Thank you. Yes. Ophelia Villana Arce. Here, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Don Osmin. Welcome on board. Pamela Patrice Posada. Hello, good evening. Present. Good evening, welcome aboard, senorita. 
Rafael Ernesto González. Rosa Elena Salgado. Rosita. Nadia. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Present teacher. Excelente. Nice. Welcome on board. Jancy Liz Hernández. Present. Ok. Excelente. Nice. Zulma Rosaura López. Present. Excelente. Nice. Flor de María Carballo. Present, teacher. Ok. Nice. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Nice. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, dice present. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. José Ignacio Franco. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. Okay. Very good. Um, up here, I heard a lady saying present, but I couldn't tell who the lady was. Mayra, teacher. Mayra, okay. Nice. Okay, welcome on board. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Nobody else was left out? Okay. Then let's continue. Okay. Like I was saying, in the agenda tonight, we have water, bottled water, the dialogue, dialogue, brand awareness, we're going to have a reading. And we're going to be discussing tape. So let's begin. Okay, before we actually begin, what do you think we're going to be discussing? What aspect of water do you think we're going to be discussing? What aspect of water, in your opinion, we're going to be discussing? Good evening, evening, teacher. Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Uh, for my opinion, I think the the human the human uh, no only survivor for the for day and no not drink the water. Uh huh. Yes. In in the in the it's, uh, the water is important important for life in the human. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the topic that we're going to be talking about is water and humans. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, in general. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Other opinions, what are we going to be talking about regarding water. Okay, no opinions, let's continue. <laughs> okay, let's see. Topic, water. Why is water so important for life? What makes water so important for life? Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, I think the, the water is important uh, for life the human. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very important because uh, without water, the human no have life. Cannot survive. Uh -huh. Without water, humans cannot survive. Okay, excellent. Yes, of course, that is true. Okay, what do we use water for? What do we use water, water for? For yes. drinking? Yeah. The humans are, the humans are 
70% water. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> For drinking, the first thing that we need to do is drink. Drink water. Okay. Drink water. Okay. Excellent. What else do we use water for? How do you say the, the riego? How do you say that? <laughs> the same, the same water, we use it as a verb to water the plants. Okay, for irrigation. Irrigation. Mm -hmm. okay. irrigation or for watering, watering plants. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For what else? Industry. For, industry. Industry. for industry. Yes, yeah. uh, Come on, come on. Okay, thank you. Our body uses the water in, in all organs and uh, the water helps you to regulate the temperature and maintain other bodily function. Mm -hmm. I in that the uh, water, uh, lo lose water when you and me breathing, sweating, and digestion. Mm -hmm. It's important to rehydrate, rehydrate, rehydrate. Hydrate, uh -huh. uh, uh, rehydrate by uh, drinking fluids, water in this case, mm -hmm. and it is very important to all function or body. Yes, absolutely. Some water for drinking, water for preparing food, mm -hmm. water for uh, irrigating plants. For shower. For taking a shower, right? And what or do it all, all clean in the house, yes. in the industries. In the medicines too, because in the hospital it's very important to water. Without water in the hospital, forget it. You are lost. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes, Don Jose Ignacio, you wanted to say something. Tell us. Yeah, sorry, but the in the even the science can let you more that without eat eating than without drinking water, no. Mm -hmm. in, in time, in time, in uh, extreme case. So yeah. the water is life. Water is life, yes. Yeah. It's a, the number one question only. Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So water is used for, indust for industrial purposes, for the fabrication of a lot of products. Yeah. For, in for the sugar. Mm -hmm. Making yes. plastic, plastic, making Coca Cola for making drinks. Ah, <laughs> ELC. The, yes, exactly. So, agriculture of soda. Uh huh. Yes, of course. So, <laughs> what is for in everything, all the human activities, we need water. If we play soccer, we lose uh, water through sweat because you sweat a lot. When you sweat, you need to uh, rehydrate by drinking water. Mm -hmm. sure the water is very, very important for create this kind of beverage uh, that you mentioned with sodas and uh, every time sí. of, of drinking, but this beverages don't substitute, substitute the water in the airport. No. Yes. The best drink is water. Yes. The best, best drink is water. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So yes, we protest, I, you're going to give me only water. <laughs> what else do you want is the best. Yes, don't ask me. Yes, I, I think uh, the water in combination, uh, another Product uh, is dry in soda, in fresh, and every every drink uh -huh. combination another yeah. product. Exactly, we combine water with 
sugar, and other things to make fizzy drinks. Exactly. All right. Now then, so this is these are some of the uses. Uh, do all the people have access to water? Do all the people have access to water? No. In some countries don't have to access to water. It's too expensive or don't, don't have to access. Include in El Salvador. Inclusive in our country. Uh -huh. We don't have uh, enough water for everybody. And in different environment or different zone. Uh -huh. and, yeah. so, and sometimes we can be so arrogant that we wash the sidewalk with uh, water, right? So we wash it. Yeah. In the garbage, we use water. And someone says, hey, don't waste the water. One day you're going to cry because you don't have any. I'm paying for it. Nobody can pay for water. Water is something that we can't pay for, okay? And it's so necessary. So we shouldn't waste it because we have the blessing of having it. We shouldn't throw it away. Instead, we should try to use the necessary so that other people may have access to that water too, okay? So then, why should we use it wisely? Why should you use it intelligently? Why do we need to use intelligence when using water? Because water will not be there forever. In fact, it is estimated that we are, uh, we're going to be without water in like about 30 years, 20 to 30 years, the world will be facing scarcity of water. So it means that we should be careful with the water that, and how we use it, right? Okay, what should we teach our children about water? What is something that we need to teach our children about water? Sorry, teacher. I, I think the children need know about the, the keep the water. So, and close the key of the... Mm -hmm. The faucet. The phone. Yeah. Close the faucet. And, uh, don't, don't wash the water. Uh -huh. And don't, uh, don't use di use for different use the word the water drink. Yes, don't waste water, right? It's Im it's important uh, teach our children save the water, do the a uh, good use the this liquid because it's very important. Because it's possible in the future, uh, the water is possible don't access easy for the human. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, it's very important to teach uh, to children that the water is a limit resources mm -hmm. and is a, a big value for the human, for the life in general. Yeah. For animals, people, and everything. You know, dogs, dogs in the city, they come to you and they ask you for water. So, because they don't know how to get water. So, and sometimes we have dogs, then we don't give them water, right? So, that is really, really bad too. Okay, so we should teach children to save water, to use it wisely, not to waste it. Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Okay, we have a short reading about water. Okay. It says, 
Is water really important for your body? Yes, according to experts, water is ranked second only to oxygen. Oxygen is number one for us to live, but if we don't have water, we can die too. So it's essential for life. With more than half of your body weight made of water, you couldn't survive for more than a few days without it. On the other hand, you can survive without food for weeks. Water is very important for your body. Water is used in every cell of your body. Water travels throughout your body, carrying nutrients, oxygen, and wastes to and from your cells and organs. Blood is made up of water. <laughs> so uh, over there, you have the minerals, and the minerals are responsible of of carrying oxygen. So water keeps your body cool as part of your body's temperature regulate, regulating system. The water that is the veins, you know that the veins are the ones responsible for keeping the body at a normal temperature, okay? So water cushions your joints and protects your tissues and organs from shock and damage. Water acts as a lubricant for your joints, your mouth, and digestive system in saliva and in your nose, throat, eyes, and stomach as part of mucus. Um, water aids in digestion and absorption of food, as well as in the removal of wastes from your body. Water also helps you maintain a, health, a healthy weight. Every day, your body loses eight to 10 cups of water through sweat, urination, and evaporation. Your body loses more than uh, more water when you exercise. Uh, living hot or, or low humidity environments, consume high fiber diets, and drink beverages containing caffeine or alcohol. It is important to drink at least eight to 10 glasses of water a day for a healthy body and to avoid heat stroke or exhaustion. Drink as much as you can, okay? So here we have like, water is really important, okay? Body, according to experts, second on what is <coughs> essential for life body weight couldn't survive a few days without it. Survive without food for weeks. Water, important, important water. Every cell of your body. Water travels throughout, throughout your body carrying nutrients, oxygen, and wastes to and from your cells and organs, okay? Cool, temperature, regulating systems, cushions, joints, protects, tissues, organs, damage, lubricant, mouth, digestive system in saliva, your nose, throat, eyes, stomach as part of mucus, okay? Uh, water aids digestion and absorption of food, removal of wastes, okay? Water also helps you maintain a healthy weight, okay? Water, your body loses, okay, through sweat, urination, and evaporation, okay? Your body loses more water when you exercise. Live in hot or low humidity environments, okay, humidity environments. Consume high fiber, fiber diets. Drink beverages containing caffeine or alcohol. It is important to drink at least eight to 10 glasses of water 
a day for healthy, for a healthy body and to avoid heat stroke, heat stroke or exhaustion. Drink as much water as you can. All right, this is the reading. Uh, you're going to practice reading it with your partner. So I'm going to send you to the groups. You may practice. But before that, do you have any questions about any words in the reading? All right. Then let's go. Let's go to the groups. I'm going to create the groups right now. We are 27 people, so six groups we do. The groups are opening. Permissions have been given. Groups are opening. Eh, eh, si quieren le voy a yo igual estoy de mi teléfono pero ah. les puedo compartir la pantalla no please ya yeah. I, I can to yo I can yeah. show the screen ah okay thank okay. you Ignacio is the version of the graph yeah it's only I need a thirteen seconds just a moment okay Maybe one minute because the the document is heavy. Oh, a problem for Mister. Ranking second way the oxygen is essential for life. We more than half of the body weight made of water. Called survive for more than a few days without. On the other hand, you can solve it without food for week. What is this very important for your body? What is it uses in every cell of your body? Water travel, turn out your body crying, 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 okay. Crying, nutrient oxygen and uh, to unfront your cell and or organ. What well, keep your body cool as part of your body's immunity to lighting system. What is cushion the joints and protein you. This is organ from shock in the, the mesh. What it uh, uh, has a lubricant for the Yes, they are, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, who is that? 
I'm going to start first. Uh, sorry. It's, is water really important for your body? Yes, according to experts, water is ranked second only to oxygen as essential for life. With more than half of your body weight made of water, you couldn't survive, survive, survive for more than a few days with, with it, without it. On the other hand, you can survive without food for weeks. What is very important for your body? Uh, oh, I read all the slides. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I continue. Okay, yeah, um, I continue. Oh, anyway. no, I ask, I ask you as I can, I, I going to read all these slides or you can change with other, other person. Thank you, Kelita. Uh, <laughs> No sé, chicas, como quieran, quizás. Well, I can, I can continue if you want. Okay. Um, water is used in very cell of your body. Water travels throughout your body carrying nutrients, oxygen, oxygen, and waste to and from your cell and or in a very cell of your body. Water travels throughout your body, carrying nutrients, oxygen, and wastes to and from yourself and, and organs. Water keeps your body full as part of your body temp temperature regula regulating system. Water cushions your joints and protects your tissues and organs from shock and damage. Water adds a lubricant for your joints, your mouth, and digestive system in saliva. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Saliva. Which one, my friend? Saliva. What? Throughout. Throughout? No, saliva. 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 Well, I went and in your nose, throat, eyes, and stomach as part of mucus. Water, eyes, in digestion and absorption of food as well as in the removal of waste from your body. Water also helps your mountain a healthy weight. Every day, your body loses eight. 12 cups of water through sweat, urination, and evaporation. Your body loses more water when you, ex you exercise. Living in hot or low humidity, environment consuming high fiber diets, and drinking beverage containing caffeine or alcohol. It's important to drink at least eight or 10 glasses of water a day for a healthy body and to avoid head stroke or exact exhaustion, drinking as much as you can. Okay, can you hear me right now? Okay. Okay. Is water really important for your body? Yes, according to experts, water is shrinking second on toxin as essential for life with more than point. The first point. Okay. Or first okay. bullet. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> Sorry, but no problem. No. No, nah, no se preocupe. Ah, weights from your body. No. Mm -hmm. The first. Use it. En, en, en el primer puntito. En el primer oh, puntito. What are these used? Oh, yes, I found it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, water travels through your body carrying not nutrients oxygen and waste and waste waste to and from your cells and organs water keeps your body cool as part of your body's temperature regulating system water cushions your joints and protects your tissues and organs from shock and damage water acts up, acts as a lubricant for your joints, 
your mouth and digestive system in saliva, and in your nose, throat, eyes, and stomach as part of mucus. Continue. Let's continue. Okay. Continue, Nelson. You okay. continue. What are A's in indigest? What? Your, your growth and protects your tissues and organs from shock and damage. What are acts as lubricant for you? joints? your mouth and digestive system in saliva and in your nose, throat, eyes, and stomach as part of mucus. Water aids in digestion and absorption of food, as well as the removal of water from your body. Water also helps you maintain a healthy weight. Every day your body loses aids Dwells cooks of the water through sweat, urination, and evaporation. Your body loses more water when you exercise, lie in hot or low humidity environments, consume hay fever, death, in stomach, as part of mucus, water ice in digestion and absorption of food as well as in the removal of waste from your body. Water also helps your maintain of a healthy weight. Every day your body loses eight and 12 cups of water through sweet urination and evaporation. Your body, Your body loss more water when you exercise, live in, in hot or low humidity environments, consume high fever diet, and drink beverage containing caffeine or alcohol. It is important to drink at least eight or 10 glasses of water a day for a healthy body and about heat stroke Exhaustions, drink as much as you can. Yeah, okay, so it's my time. Sorry. Is water really important for your body? Yes, according to experts, water is ranked second only to oxygen as essential for life. With more than half of your body weight made of water, you couldn't survive for more than a few days without it. On the other hand, you can survive without food for weeks. Water is very important for your body. Water is used in every cell of your body. Water travels through your body carrying nutrient, oxygen, and water to us from your cells and organs. Water keeps your body cool. Okay. To drink at last um, eight, ten glasses of water a day for healthy boy and a boy head stroke for exhaustion. Drink as much as you can. Teacher. <laughs> uh, next, señoritas. Hello. Hasta dónde? Hasta dónde? Ah, caballero. Eh, all read. Ah, todo lo leí. No sé si va a leer. Va a empezar. Ah, todo lo, todo lo. Yes, yes. All right. Ah. Uh, Rankel. Ah, yes, rank it. Rank it. Uh -huh. I don't know. May rank it. Let me see. Rank means classified. Oh, thank you. Uh, a, a, at or eight. 
clase a mi hijo que Ah, en throat. Throughout. Ah, throughout. Throughout. Throughout means. No. No, eh, throat. This. Ajá, throat. This is the throat. Oh. Throat. Ajá. Throat. Mm -hmm. What is tissues? Tejidos, tissues. The pronunciation of cushions, cushions is correct? Cushions, cushions, yes. Cushions. The cushions, cushions. Okay. in this case, is a verb. Cushion is a verb. Means protects, like the tendons, cushion, the knees, okay? So that in the knees, there is a tendon be between the bones, so that there is no like bone against bone, don't crash, right? So. Uh, tendon cushions, cush cushions means softens, okay, or protects. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And the pen pronunciation and what is, what's this? What's this? We, ah, I we forget. Wastes. 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 Okay. Mm. We have solid waste and liquid waste. When we go to the bathroom and we do number one and number two, those are waste. Okay. Wastes, okay. Wastes. Wastes. Okay. Wastes. Wastes. Waste. No waste. Wastes. Waste. Okay. Wastes. Wastes. Waste. Si te lo quiero pronunciar así rápido o normal. Waste. Waste. Pero es como una S al final, ¿ok? Yes. Waste. Finish with a T and then an S. Waste. Like desks. Desks. Waste. Waste. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. Wait. Wait. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. Dialogue. Practice the following dialogue. Good morning, mom. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm just promoting a new brand of water. Its name is Rika. Rika? I never heard about it. It's a new brand. It was launched last week by Pure Water Limited. Would you like to try it? To be honest, I don't have enough money now. No, don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. It's a promotion. Oh, is it? And uh, how much is it gonna cost once you start selling it? There are different prices because there are bottles in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents. 
and the bigger one, 40 cents. It's not bad. I'll try it. Thanks. <clears throat> Again. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'm just promoting a new brand of water. Its name is Rika. Rika? I've never heard of, about it. It's a new brand. It was launched last week by Pure Water Limited. Would you like to try it? To be honest, I don't have enough money now. No, don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. It's a promotion. Oh, is it? And how much is it going to cost once you start selling it? There are different prices because there are bottles in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the bigger one, 40 cents. It's not bad. I'll try it. Thanks. Some words like promoting, launched, pure water, enough money, promotion, okay, different prices and sizes, cost, bigger, okay. I'll try it. Thanks. So you're going to practice the dialogue and you're going to discuss the questions. What's Bessie promoting? What was the lady's reaction? Who would not try the water? Why would not try the water at first? Here is why would lady, why would the lady, right, not try the water at first? Why did she accept to try it at the end? What prices are mentioned? Okay, so this is what you're going to discuss. In number three is why, would, why wouldn't the lady uh, try the water at first? Okay, so. We can sell the cora. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so we're going to practice 12 and 13, okay? Items, I mean, slides 12 and 13. So let me see, um, I make different groups, but some, some groups have only three people because some people don't enter. Then I'm going to create a group again. If um, I can organize it better so that some, I mean, all the groups have the same number of people. All right, groups are beginning. Let's go and practice the conversation. don't have and no money now no don't worry you don't have to pay for it it's a promotion oh it's it and 
how much is going to cost funds once you start selling it? There are different price because there are bottles in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the bigger one for 14 cents. It's not bad. I'll treat it. Thanks. Okay, okay Devin, you are lady and me, best. Okay. 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 Good morning. My okay. Bye. Es el diálogo. Si gustan, yo puedo ser Bessie. Ok. Ah, pues yo soy Lady. Lady, ok. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. What can, what can I do for you? I'm just promoting a new brand of water. Its name is Rika. Rika? I have never heard about it. It's a new brand. It was launched last week by Pure Water. Would you like to try it? To be honest, I don't have enough money now. No, don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. It's a promotion. Oh, is it? And how much is it going to cost once you start selling it? There are different price because there are bottle in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the bigger one, uh, 40 cents. Oh, it's not bad. I'll try it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Who is the next? Uh, me, um, Bessie. Okay. Um, uh, Bessie, uh, lady. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. What thing do I do for you? I'm just promoting a new brand of water. Its name is Rita. Rita, I have never heard about it. It's a new brand. To be honest, I don't have enough money now. No, I don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. It's a promotion. Oh, is it? And how much is going to cost once you start selling it? There are different prices because there are bottles <laughs> in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small on going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the bigger one, 40, 40, 40 cents. It's not bad. I'll try it. Thanks. Okay, Guadalupe, read with, the, with that. I like to, it. to be honest. I don't have enough money now. <clears throat> no, I don't know. I'm um, sorry. I do not. I have to buy for this. This is a promotion. Oh, is and how much <clears throat> is going to cost <clears throat> once you start selling it? Excuse me. <laughs> I did it. Are different. I this is because I did it are broad broad in different sizes. Oh, I see. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, I this one is going to cost uh twenty five twenty five cent cent them and they. Be, be here yeah. one two what is four, 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 seven. Seven. no so 
Okay, it's not bad. I try in. Thanks. Okay. Next. Oh, I see. How much is that a small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the bigger one, 40 cents. It's not bad. It try it. Is, thanks. Okay. Question. Okay. Okay. Questions. Question. The first. What's the best promotion? What? Proud. Rica. Proud. A new brand. Water. Uh, it's a new brand of water. water. The new. The new, new brand, brand water. for water. Uh -huh. ah, for water. Yes. Okay. It's okay. named Rica. Yes. The second, what was the lady's reaction? Surprise. 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 One water more, to say. One brand Interest. Ah, uh, interest. Yes, interest things too. And curiosity, right? Because the price. Because. Okay, number she... three. How much is that small one going to cost? Oh, this one is going to cost 25 cents and the burger one uh, 40 cents. It's not bad. I'll try it. Thanks. All right. Yes. Okay, continue the question. Okay. Yes, okay. It's okay. Good. Another page. In number one, say, what basic promotion? Or what basic promotion? A new brand of water. A new um, brand of water. The water. Yes. And the name is Rica. Yes, it's I agree. Is new brand. The water is correct. And the next, what was the lady's reaction? The lady's reaction is very uh, negative. <laughs> negative. Oh, yeah. Surprise. 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 Or... Negative and surprise reaction. reaction? Because, uh -huh. because the brand is a new. For, for yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. The new product. Mm -hmm. so, Never and, met. Uh, the, um, the nose. The nose. The, uh, product. Yes. Oh. And 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 the lady don't have money, you know. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Number three. Why will not trying the water or first? Why? I don't know. In my case, it's money or the different brand, maybe. Yes, I agree. And the first, no, how money? Don't have money. Because lady, lady don't have money. Mm -hmm. ah, they yes, don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why did she accept to try it at the end? <laughs> because Bessie uh, give a promotion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it was. Uh, and it was free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what prices are mentioned? Mentioned. Twenty five cents. For a small bottle. Uh -huh. Yes. And forty, I think, or fifty. Forty. Forty. Yes, forty cents 40. for uh, the bigger. Bigger bottle. 
Okay. Yes. You finish, right? That's good. Yes, teacher. Let's go to the main group. Okay. 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 Thank you. I sleep in the chair. To me, the chair. <laughs> me too, it says me too. Yeah. I am sleeping. I I am speaking. Uh, <laughs> okay. Teacher Jose Ignacio Franco, present twice, please. Oh, yes, of course, my friend. Present twice. Okay. All right. Let's check who is here, who isn't here. And then uh, we're going to go to the task. Okay. Task preparation. So. Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excellent, nice. Adri, que Anselmi Chávez. Shell Guevara. Present. Excellent, nice. Ángela mm. de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Yes, Angelita, that's nice. Okay, Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice, my friend, very good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent, nice. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Present. Excellent, nice. Present teacher, I'm here. Very good. Lourdes Beatriz Irayata. I'm here. Excellent, nice. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present. Excellent, nice. Edgardo. Nice. Present. Nice, very good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Okay. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Here, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Here, Ofelia, teacher. Yes, no problem. Don Osmin is here too. Okay, Pamela. Yeah. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Okay. Rafael Ernesto González. Yes, Excellent. Nice. Hello, teacher. Sorry, uh, my internet has a little breakout. Este blanco es que bonito y es como. Ah, sí, yo pensé que estaba caro. Okay. Oh, okay. Sí, oh, okay. esa me gusta más. Yo por qué te. You like it? How much? Beer. Beer. Duri. Okay. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Is in Mukin Rosita. Okay. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Uh, Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent, very good. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Excellent, very nice. Flor de Maria Carballo. Present teacher. Nice, Florcita. Very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Excellent. Nice. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice. 
Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Very good. The brothers are here. Eduardo yes. Fernández, not here. Y José Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Nice, Carlita. Very good. Okay. Nice, very good. Let's continue. Okay. Let's see, we get to second dialogue, dialogue number two, but before that, before dialogue number two, should a small company or should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Teacher, I don't know because I don't understand what is brand awareness. Okay, don't worry, we're going to discuss that in a moment. Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Teacher, I cannot do that because I don't know what is brand awareness. Don't worry, we're going to move to some definitions to understand what this is, why the questions are there. Okay, uh, let me see, over here we have the definitions. What is brand awareness? Brand awareness is the level of recognition and association by a potential customer towards your product and services. For example, if you need a cold drink, the chances are that you will think of Pepsi or Coke. Okay, so what is brand awareness? In simple words, that the people know about the existence of your product. So there is brand awareness if the people know that your product exists and that there is an option in the market. So that would be brand awareness. Literally aware means conscious conscious and you may say teacher but what is conscious no when you are conscious you know about the place where you are and the things that are happening around you so awareness means in this case brand awareness means that you know that the product exists you know how much it costs you know the design you know the the, the colors and also where to buy the product. So there is brand awareness. Now, what is brand? What is a brand awareness strategy? Okay. In, in this one, there is one. In the others, I'm going to give you three. It says a brand awareness strategy is a set of marketing tactics that help a company spread their message, grow their audience and establish high brand recognition within their target market. Teacher, and in Christian, what is that? Okay, the strategy is the, the way or the plan that they use in order to bombard, bombard people with messages, the messages are advertising for people to know about the product. So how are they going to bombard you with advertisements for you to know about the price? That is the strategy. How are they going to do it? Later, we're going to see the strategies. But right now, the strategy is the way they do, okay, or the, the way that they use to influence you, to wrap you around a brand, okay? How, like someone would say in Spanish, push their brands through your eyes for you to like their brand. Okay, let's imagine that they are selling ground beans, 
which are ground beans. Yeah, frijoles molidos, ground beans. But these yeah. ground beans have a particularity. These ground beans have a piece of have pieces of meat, and the flavor of the beans is very tasty, very delicious. So, how can they make you aware? How can they make you know of their existence? Well, maybe on television, they bombard you <laughs> with the, this brand on television, on the radio, or in the newspaper. Those are traditional channels. But what about they, they, knew, they use the new tendency? You say, teacher, what's a new tendency? Social media, they use Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, okay? Uh, or now TikTok, <laughs> TikTok, or they use uh, Snapchat, or they use, uh, I don't know, say Vimeo, and I don't know what, but other, other ways to get young people to see that. Ah, but they, they, they sell these beans raw, means without cooking. So how are they going to make people know that it's tasty? Well, by sampling, they can go to a supermarket, right? They can go to the supermarket and in the supermarket, they can give bread with uh, these beans already prepared, prepared by a chef. So the people at the supermarket will try it and say, mm, delicious. And what brand is it? Um, beans La Negra Tomasa. Ah, wow, Beans La Negra Tomasa. Okay, wow, these are delicious. And they are black beans, but they are delicious. Okay, how much is the, the bag? Ah, 75 cents, 75 cents. And you buy and you take home and you prepare. Everybody likes it. And then the next time you buy the same and you buy the same and then you are aware of the existence of this. So this is the strategy that they use. Okay, what are the three types of brand awareness? Okay, the ability of a product to be recognized by customers through general hints and clues is called brand awareness. Teacher, what are hints and what are clues? Clues are pistas. Hints are pistas. So when they say pistas y pistas, right? Hints and clues. In English, they like to use words with the same meaning. Rant and rave, uh, gadget and gizmos and gadgets and the same happens over here. They're using hints and clues. Okay, what they are telling you is that they give you little, little pieces of information, pistas, right? Little pieces of information about the brand. And little by little, you recognize them. So that is brand awareness. Now, there are three main types of brand awareness. Brand recall, you remember, recollection, you remember. Brand recognition, you see and you say, ah, this is this brand. And brand dominance, brand dominance is a combination of both recall and recognition. When you see that there is a brand dominance, it means that uh, probably the brand has dominated the market. And uh, you see it, you recognize it, and you recall it, or you remember it, which is recall is remember. Recognition is you see it and you say, ah, I know this brand, recognition. Mm -hmm. So then brand recall, brand recognition, brand dominance, three types of brand awareness. Per okay, perceived value is underrated, okay? Uh, relativity is an important aspect of making a trademark visible, okay? So relativity, what is that teacher? Okay, means that something is relative. Okay, 
Here, the spelling is reliability. What's the meaning? All right. Well, if you say, for example, uh, that you have people have tried the product, they like it, they will go and buy it again. And then they go and they go and they go and they continue buying it until the brand is part of their favorites, right? Okay, so that would be in these areas. Okay. Um, this is going to be other thing for the, re for the reading. This is only to answer the questions. Okay. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? I'm going to, I'm going to say in a different way. Should a small business invest money on propaganda? Should small business spend money on publicity? Should small business spend money on advertising? Opinions? Nowadays, there are many ways to to make propaganda yeah to make uh, yes. publicity is not expensive i think uh, only one spot in instagram or maybe facebook and you have a probability that your your product will be recognized mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's true because in my case one one time only one time i i i look uh one's uh publicity in instagram and mm -hmm. it called me my it calls my attention and i ask for the product and that and it was the first time that i see that and i i, I asked for the product i i asked the price and I say, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that a small business can, can do this nowadays. <laughs> now, you know what a lady did? This is um, another thing. Uh, there is um, a young man selling uh, French bread, right? Frances, selling Frances, selling French bread on a bicycle. He has a big basket, big basket and the, and the bicycle and he's pedaling there. All right. The lady said, Arturo, here you have a shirt. And in the shirt, in the front of the shirt and in the back of the shirt, there was publicity for the, pro for the, for her store, okay. The store was uh, Lacteos, uh, Tia Michelita, uh, something like that. I don't remember. But then he, he had uh, in the front and in the back of the shirt. And she gave the boy two shirts. And she said, I'm going to give you some money and I'm going to buy you bread every day if you put on the shirt. And the boy and the boy liked the shirt because the shirt was stylish. He put on the shirt and he was through the neighborhood selling the bread. And the people saw the shirt and they saw the brand and they paid attention. And then sales increased at this uh, Productos Lactos okay, store. And then dairy product store and then she that is selling more. And uh, each shirt cost $5. So she spent $10. And because the boy put it on, she bought bread every day. <laughs> so that was, there was a business. I buy you bread and you do publicity. And so she began selling more and the store began popular. I mean, became popular. So that is one way of publicity, intelligent way of publicity. Okay, now 
Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Okay. Can you think of two methods of publicity? I gave you one, the shirt, <laughs> the shirt. What's another way of making publicity? There is a story in my- When, when, you, gave, when you gave free samples. Right. Free samples, what? sampling is yeah. a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there is a, a lady, the lady is uh, Doña Irma. She has a, a comedor, a eatery, right? And she makes the, the menu by hand and she gets photocopies, photocopies and photocopies. And she gets house by house, drops the, the photocopy. So the people open and they say, hey, ah, Niña Irmita is going to have uh, hamburgers today, or she's going to have, uh, I don't know, whatever she's preparing. And people go and buy <laughs> another strategy. What are other strategies for, uh, uh, let's say, to make publicity to the product? What's up for me? Yes. What's up? What's up? Yes. Yes, right. What's up? Okay. Okay. Yes, it's the similar example, the uh, Mrs. Telmita. Uh -huh. Only the menu in no for copy the the hard paper mm -hmm. uh, sent in a group of WhatsApp. Okay. And is now is very effective. Yes, the only problem is getting the people's telephone numbers. Messages. Messages for WhatsApp or WhatsApp. Sure. <laughs> and this menu. Uh -huh. Menu all day. Menu all day. Yeah, that's nice. The only problem is how do they get these people's telephone numbers? Because you remember in the past, in the past it was easy. The newspaper, no, the newspaper, the what's the name? The telephone company had all of those telephones and every person had access to the other people's telephone numbers. Unless you pay some money to make your telephone number private. So it didn't appear in the telephone. But now that all the people use cell phones, and change cell phones once a month, so it becomes a little more difficult. But how do you think people can get other people's WhatsApp numbers or telephone numbers? It's a little complicated. That's that part is the complicated. The messages, of course. But like um, Selmi says, the people go and buy. So over there, Nina Irmita can say, "Can you give me your telephone number?" Okay, and the person says, "Yes, sure. My house or my cell phone? No, your cell phone. It's a list." And then yes, phone. but there is, there is more control for the business for the quantities of, um, uh, for example, in my company, we have a different restaurant close of the office mm -hmm. in delivery, and every day we receive the menu. And I, there, there is a specific time that you have your, you give the order. For, for example, eleven. Yeah. Excuse can be that. The excuse. That, that. There is more control. Uh -huh. But I, I understood your point. But in my opinion, 
there is more control it, it, it depends the model of business. Uh -huh. That's true. Because I have, I have created a group of WhatsApp, but I only create it with people giving me their numbers. If I get their numbers, many times the, the numbers are private. They have WhatsApp, but the WhatsApp is private, means you send them an invitation. If they, send, they don't accept, period. So that's why I thought, mm, okay. But if people come and buy, the lady can say, hey, can you give me your telephone number? So I can tell you what I have prepared and I can deliver. I can only ask yes. and deliver you the food. And we, yes. on that condition. Yes, it's, it's important to combine the different strategies, but the point is not necessarily the expensive a strategy for for promotion or advertising in this case uh, the strategy is right the most the strategy mouth to mouth uh -huh, mouth, mouth to mouth, mouth. Uh -huh, is mouth by mouth or mouth, by, to, mouth. Yes. to mouth uh -huh. yes yes from person to person uh -huh. exactly yeah that's true all right, now we're going to get to the dialogue. Okay. The dialogue is between Jesse and Jack. Okay. Jesse. Jesse, the cowboy girl. Jesse and Woody. <laughs> Jesse and Woody. Okay, check over here. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying hard enough to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you're talking about needs to make people recognize it, get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, this is the dialogue. Now we have Discover new brand, delicious, Delicious, Vigret, 300 likes, popular, popular, probably known, unknown brand. Simply put, simply put, okay, said in a simple, simple way, right? Okay, hard enough to create brand awareness of their product important important launching new a new product everyone everyone okay consumers images cinnamon soda recognize recognize higher sales competitive 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 Okay, and then we have the, the questions. Why is cinnamon soda not so popular? What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? What's Jack's recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? So this would be uh, the questions, okay? The questions that you need to discuss. So what are you going to be doing in this one? Uh, Item, well, slide 16 and slide 17. 16 and 17 only, nothing else. 16 and 17. Let's go to the groups.
Groups are opening. Okay. Ilya Sankerson. Okay. Groups are opening. I have two Ophelias. Okay. I have two Ophelias, I don't know why. Do you have a, a computer and a cell phone? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to assign you to the same group. Okay. So that, okay, the two go together. Okay, I'm going to send you to number four. The two are going to go to number four, okay? And then Pame, Pame is going to go to number three. And Eduardo is going to go to number six, okay? So, Nelson is not with us here. So let's send him to number six too, okay? In who Jack? In who is Jack? Me, Jack. You the one? Okay. Jack. Okay. I just discovered this new brand on cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an Omnish brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't typing hard enough to create brand. Answering for their product, did it ever impact when about a new product? I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. But, uh, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda, soda or on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their image and name. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are telling about need to make people Reconnoissance, reconnoissance into get hidden cells and the, the, how do you say the pronunciation word? Recognize, 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 recognize it to get hide ourselves and become more compet competitive. Okay. You practice Jose Ignacio in Osmi? Yes, I am ready. Okay, um, I am uh, Jack. Right. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visit their fan page, I saw they only have their hundred likes. I wonder why it isn't more, most popular, more popular. It's probably an Arnold's brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying hard enough to create brand aware from their products. This is very important when launching a new product. Right. 
I guess you are right, everyone now, about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an, enough for this new soda in, on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this. Simply put. The owners of the brand aren't trying hard enough to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their image and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Practicamos otra vez o pasamos a las preguntas. Okay. Oh, for you, it's okay for the discussion. Okay. okay. Uh, I am Jesse. Okay, I'm Jack. I just discovered this name, new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited the fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying hard enough to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen on an of this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand or, and their image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and be- Why is cinnamon soda not so popular? And probably an Okno brand. Yes, but why? Why? Mm -hmm. um, I think that because uh, people never have seen a commercial on TV or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a new brand, but they need more uh, promotion. <laughs> okay, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Uh, the promotion is the Recognized. Um, yes. Promotion. Okay, important. What is important is constant and ways. It's, in, it's important to create, um, uh, create a brand awareness for the product. 
because if the owner, the brand, don't put um, uh, enough uh, uh, trying, uh, enough hard for, for his uh, brand, uh, he don't create brand awareness for this product. This is the really important when I launch a new product. Yes. <laughs> Creo que sí. I grace. Create. Susan. <laughs> Nada. She has the problem. The problem, the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, show the dialogue. I'm sorry, I have a. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Susan. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ya <pasan 20 minutos. laughs> <laughs> okay. Che, no han pasado 17 minutos. O cuando faltaran 17 minutos, yo por eso. Ay, Rome, Angela. I wrote Angela minutes. Es que hoy no sentí 17 minutos. Acabamos de salir. One minute. Me quedé pensando, como dijo el teacher, que íbamos a rezar 17 minutos o íbamos a estar practicando 17 minutos. Yeah. Ok, Actually, here we go. We say tips to get people's attention to your product. Number one. Partner with like-minded businessmen or businesses. What's the meaning? Okay, uh, become friends of companies that have the same uh, if vision that you do, okay? People with the same vision, uh, people with the same uh, plans, okay? So this, you can get together, talk about, discuss, uh, problems in business, see the same perspectives and help one another. So this is one tip. Tip number two, strengthen your brand impression. Okay, teacher, what is strengthen? Fortalecer, okay, make strong. Make your brand impression strong, okay. Teacher, what is an impression? Oh, okay. When someone sees the product, people can ignore it. <laughs> if they ignore the product, they don't buy it. But if the wrapping is interesting, the colors are nice, and everything is well made, and they see it, they say, hey, what's this? And then they take interest for the product. Probably they will buy it. So this is strengthen your brand impression. Now the next one, number three, create original content. All right. If the flavor that you that you are presenting is uh, pineapple, okay, make original pineapple. Teacher, how the real deal? Okay, real pineapple. Free of pineapple. Don't put too much uh, colorant and you know other things. So share relevant content. If you if you are going to make publicity, what's a relevant uh, content about a product? Price, characteristics of the product, the flavors that you offer, and the place where they can buy it. 
strengthen your web, your website quality. Okay, maybe you can make a website that is interactive, not only not only HTML. Maybe you you may use Dreamweaver. You may use other other things or probably other languages in order to include uh, an interaction. Like when someone visits your page, at the bottom there is a question and it says, oh, can I help you? Do you have any questions about the product? So that is interaction. People know that you are uh, paying attention to the visitors. Okay, make your website mobile friendly means a type of website that may appear in both a computer and a cell phone. Then the other one, get more involved within your community. Okay, if you are on Facebook, don't only make publicity of your product, present things, some information that is good for all the people, content that people may be interested in. And at the bottom, you can put the, price, the product. So the people read the information that you are presenting and at the same time, they see the product. So it's not just the product because people might not enter because of the product. They might enter because of the, the content. Know your customers better. If you get to know the customers better, okay, you will know what they like, what they want, how you can get around them. So that is important. Okay, now we read this already. So we're not going to uh, read it again. So these are other tips for building an effective brand awareness. Okay, understand your target customers. Focus on the platforms your customers uses most. Set achievable goals for your campaign things that are realistic, things that you can do. Okay, become friends with complementary brands. If you sell bread, I mean French bread, get people that sell cream, cheese, or other things that may accompany the bread. Okay, so those are complementary brands. Or if you sell, if your product is bread, associate with Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or other things that complement, okay, right? So then uh, be active and engaged online means participate, participate in different forums, etc. Highlight your brand personality, okay? Means make it sure that you are presenting what the people want to see and improve the customer experience. Like when people visit your page, they are well received, okay? And they are asked if they need something and you talk to them. So, and then track the results. Though these are is effective brand awareness campaigns. All right. In the task, we need to do this together. Brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. The following are some of the stages of brand awareness. Match the stages of brand awareness to their description. Brand recall, what's that? Okay, we're going to read them first and then we match them. Let me get a yellow color to write. Ta-da. See? Yellow. Okay. Let's and the number three is the first brand customer can think. Customers don't recognize your brand. Okay. Customers don't recognize your brand. That is what? Unknown brand, right? Number five. Unknown brand. Five. Yes, number five. five. Yes. So we can put here, oh, in this one, we can put five. Okay, let's make it bigger. Okay. 
let's see how this fares. All right, uh, the next one. Customers sure. can't recall any brand that puts the particular product. We say this is number two, right? Two, yes. Reconocition. One. Because he said recall, so that may be number one, brand recall. Now, br customers can recall any brand, but yours for a particular product or category, brand recall. Now the next one, a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. That is, okay, that is number one, right? You're right. right. This is number one. Okay. Key. Uh -huh. Then let's see, we're going to come back to the, this one. The first brand customers can think of for a product of a category. Top of mind, number, number three. One. Top of mind, exactly. Number three. Excellent. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Oh, no. Number four. Five. Brand dominance. Okay, so yes, you're right. This is number mm -hmm. two. Right. Recognition. Okay. The only thing is where recall. Recall is remember. Okay. Excellent. Now let's move on, my friends. Let's move on. We're going to be reading this passage. And you're going to read it. So, okay. Brand awareness is really important for sales. And since sales is the purpose of a business, it is essential for all the economic activity. So this raises a question. How can I help? Can I make my product attractive in the market? I need to be seen, heard of, recognized and desired, but how do I get it to happen? There are some strategies for the product to be visible, but they can be pricey means expensive. One of the things that I must understand is who my target buyer is and he or, and he or she wants, okay? And what he or she wants, the what was gone. How can I achieve this? Here's where a market study comes in handy. I need to find out who my target buyers are, how old they are, what they need and how they relate to my product. If I find the answers to these questions, I can start orientating my campaign, orienting, okay, or orientating my campaign. So we say orienting my campaign, uh, designed towards pleasing these people. Once I know my, my target buyers, I can learn what social media they use the most and start a brand awareness campaign in this media. Thus, I can get them engaged and focus on my product. This campaign must be measurable and it must bring in enough useful information to take the bearings that, that we want, means the direction that I want. A better service based on the knowledge of the target buyers also if possible, I'll associate with a famous brand that may be related to my product that complements it. This association can be mutually beneficial because this famous brand's loyal buyers may get a complementary product that can improve their experience. If my target buyers are young people who use Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I can engage with them uh, there, sharing free codes to visit my stores and get my products with an important discount. Yet, if talking gets to pushing, I will have to use traditional mass media, such as radio, television, and newspaper. In the end, what I want is get people's brand recognition and to develop certain product loyalty to improve sales. Okay, so we don't have very much time to read this, but I'm going to read it again, okay? Tomorrow we're going to practice it. Today we probably, I just don't think so, okay? 
because I cannot make you stay beyond your time, okay? I know that you are tired and everything, so hey, it's not nice. All right, brightness is really important to sales, okay? And since sales is the purpose of a business, it is essential for all the economic activity. So this raises a question. How can I make my product attractive in the market? I need it to be seen, heard of, recognized and desired, but how do I get it to happen? There are some strategies for the product to be visible, but they can be pricey or expensive. One of the things that I must understand is who my target buyer is and what he or she wants. How can I achieve this? Where, I mean, here is where a market study comes in handy. Here is where a market study becomes useful. I need to find out who my target buyers are, how old they are, what they need, and how they relate to my product. If I find uh, the answers to these questions, I can start orientating my design towards pleasing these people. Once I know my target buyers, I can learn what social media they use the most and start a brand awareness campaign in these media. Thus, I can get them engaged and focus on my product. This campaign must be measurable and it must bring in enough useful information to take me to the bearings that we want, a better service based on the knowledge of the target buyers. Also, if possible, I'll associate with a famous brand that may be related to my product that complements it. This association can be mutually beneficial because this famous brand's loyal buyers may get a complementary product that can improve their experience. If my tar target buyers are young people who use Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I can engage with them there, sharing free codes to visit my stores and get my product with an important discount. Yet, if talking gets to pushing, I will have to use traditional mass media such as radio, television, and newspaper. In the end, what I want is get people's brand recognition and to develop certain product loyalty to improve sales. Over here, if tugging gets to pushing means if things become tough, if things become difficult. Okay, tomorrow we're going to practice this because we didn't have enough time. So and we're going to discuss the questions. Right. Oh, my dear ones, I'm going to take you to see who is present and call roll. But before this, let's see who's going to be with me today. Today is a February. Okay, let me see. February the 22nd. So Ada Patricia Linares stays with me today. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Nice. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Very good, nice. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Very good, nice. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Excellent. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Good, nice. Okay. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nice. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Chris Posada. 
Rafael Ernesto González. Present, good night. Night, Rosa Elena Salgado. Present, teacher. Night, Rosita. Sandra Gladys Mendes. Present, teacher, good night. night. Very good. Janet Beth Hernandez. Present. Yeah, good night. Take care. Zulma Rosaura López. Flor de María Carvalho. Present. Good night. Good night. Okay. Teacher Sophie. Zulma present. Okay. Very good, Zulma. Nice. Marvin and René. Okay. Not present tonight. Okay. Something to do. Okay. Yeah. Eh, Susana Carolina Hernández. And teacher. Okay, nice. Okay, Denis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice, very good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. The brothers. Jose. Present, yeah. teacher. Jose Disco. Franco Medina. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. And Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present, sir. Nice, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me see. I'm going to stop presenting. Thank you very much for attending tonight. I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Ah, de verdad. Teacher. Hello. Eh, me toca a mí esta noche. Uh -huh. Yes. Es que yo en este momento no puedo porque fíjese que acabo de, me acaba de una emergencia, entonces no puedo quedarme. No hay problema, no se preocupe. Ok, teacher. No okay, teacher. No se preocupe. Ok. Porque la, idea, la idea es ayudarles, ¿verdad? La idea. Yes, teacher. Pero, I know, sí. If you have an emergency, um, um, I understand too. I mean, it's not, don't worry about it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. I'll see. Take care of yourself. Okay. 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 Good. Sleep well. Good night.
comment. Just comment. On the center of this face, it's not interrelated. Thank you. 